In this video, I will talk about thresholding, which is one of and probably the most commonly used tool used to create your first initial segmentation object. So to start, I'll go to the segment menu and choose the second one down, thresholding. So thresholding is the process of choosing a range of intensity values and any of the pixels that fall within that range will get highlighted or selected and put into our mask or included in our segmentation. So you can see the thresholding dialog box has this histogram here. And so the intensity values of the image are along the x-axis in the uh, in number of pixels for each int intensity value is along the y-axis. So we can choose our, or change our range by dragging these sliders left and right. And there's one for the minimum value of our range as well as one for the maximum value of our range. If you'd like to get some help in choosing which uh, values you'd like to use for your thresholding range, you can uh, turn on a mask preview by clicking this button here. And so you can see as I drag these sliders, the pixels will update in real time as well as my 3D preview. Now there are some predefined threshold sets for CT scans. So if you know you're gonna be segmenting out compact bone or some soft tissue or the skin, or maybe just the normal bone, um, as long as the patient has a normal bone density, uh, this predefined threshold set usually works pretty well. Um, some other options we have here, if you check this box next to fill holes, that's going to try to fill in any holes that are left with, within your mask. Um, and the second box here is keep largest, which means it's going to only keep the largest continuous surface and it's going to eliminate the rest. So maybe I'll create one mask without that checked, and then I'll do a new mask uh, with that checked so you can see what that does. So after we hit apply, you can see we have a mask here, which we could rename if we'd like by clicking on the name. You can also show and hide your mask by toggling these eyeglasses. So if you'd like to create maybe another mask, you can click this new page icon here and that's going to bring up the threshold dialog box again. And this time I'm going to check keep largest. So it'll only keep the largest bone in this data set. So if I select my yellow mask here, you can see it only contains the femur, whereas my original mask contains all of the bones.